Understanding Total Loss in English. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be exploring the phrase, total loss, a term you might have heard in various contexts, from casual conversations to more formal reports. Whether you're an English learner or just curious about this expression, stick around to learn about its meanings and how to use it in sentences. Let's dive in. The term, total loss, is commonly used in the insurance industry and refers to a situation where property, such as a car or house, is so badly damaged that it's either irreparable or the cost of repairs exceeds the value of the property itself. In simple terms, it means that the item can't be salvaged and must be written off as a complete loss. For example, if a car is in a severe accident and is crushed beyond repair, an insurance company might declare it a total loss and compensate the owner based on the vehicle's value before the accident. Beyond the literal insurance context, total loss can also be used figuratively to describe situations or efforts that have failed completely and offer no hope of recovery or value. When someone says their effort on a project was a total loss, they mean that nothing they've done is salvageable or worthwhile. For instance, if someone studied for weeks for an exam but found the questions to be completely different from what they prepared for, they might say, all my studying was a total loss. Let's look at how total loss can be incorporated into sentences. 1. After the flood, their home was considered a total loss, and they had to rebuild from scratch. 2. He felt like his time at the casino was a total loss because he didn't win a single game. 3. The project was a total loss after the files were corrupted, and there was no backup. Notice how the phrase can apply to both tangible items and intangible efforts. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has clarified the meaning of total loss and how you can use it both literally and figuratively in English. Remember, this phrase is a great way to express the extent of damage or failure in various situations. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more language tips. Until next time, keep practicing your English and take care.